meetings, uh, August 16th, 2016. I'm going to show uh, three photographs that I used as source material for two different drawings uh, pertaining to the uh, murdered uh, Jewish communities of uh, Bohemia and Moravia, what was formerly known as Czechoslovakia. There were uh, 140,000 items, Judaica and books and so on, that were stolen by the Nazis, um, cataloged by uh, Jewish uh, catalogers from a museum in Prague who themselves were eventually murdered. And um, the items were stored in uh, a number of warehouses in Prague for the planned museum of the extinct Jewish race that the Nazis were proposing had they won the war. And um, a small selection of the uh, objects, a fraction, were exhibited and uh, published uh, in this uh, book, uh, The Precious Legacy, Judaic Treasures in the Czechoslovak State Collections, edited by David Altschuler. There's a uh, synagogue key, Prague, end of 19th century, and a uh, Torah crown, Prague, from 1839. Beautiful craftsmanship. And I uh, drew that, and uh, getting some light reflection here, I'll stand to the side. In this uh, ink and gouache colored pencil, a drawing I did in 2011 and 2012. This is also reproduced in the cover of the late JT News Voice of Jewish Washington newspaper uh, for a Russia Shana holiday issue a few years ago. Sorry about the uh, reflection here. Tilting my iPod. And the work to the right, I just uh, I began last uh, Wednesday and completed yesterday, Monday the 15th, inspired by uh, this photograph here of a Hanukkah lamp for a synagogue, Bohemia, mid-19th century, also from the Czechoslovak State Collections. Clockwise from bottom left. A couple of other uh, photographs in the uh, catalog collection book um, were also used as inspiration for uh, a couple of sections, areas of the uh, work called Bonhoeffer de Uda from 2012-13. That's part of the uh, large show, a trilogy of Ellie's Sin, Bonhoeffer de Uda, and Zlat to the Righteous of Bialystok and her son Liebel, who lived in Berlin. There are videos up about those about those works separately. There you have it. This is going to be framed and um, make a nice pairing with this uh, work, the Prague Torah Crown of 1839. There you have it. Thank you. It's August 18th, 2016. This is the uh, second drawing I've done, inspired by a photograph in the uh, Precious Legacy uh, book. Um, Judaic treasures from the Czechoslovakia State Museum collections, which were um, the exhibit and catalog were just a fraction of the, I think it was 160 or so thousand items stolen by the Nazis from uh, Czech, Slovakian Jews, regions of Bohemia and Moravia. 
the Jews themselves were murdered. I, I think according to the uh, U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum website, I think it was, I'll have to look it up again, I'll put it in the description text, something like 260,000 Czech Jews were murdered. The uh, catalogers, Jewish, who cataloged all the um, incoming uh, Judaic objects were themselves eventually murdered. So I began this drawing on August 10th, completed it, um, I think it was yesterday morning or the day before. I think some reflection here from outside, but we'll ignore that. upper left and then I'll do the center menorah. Right. Voila, there you have it. Just like January thirteenth, two thousand and fifteen. So this is the uh, a uh, ink and gouache and colored pencil uh, drawing I did uh, in 2011, the 2012 Prague Torah Crown of 1839. Getting a little bit of reflect, light reflection here from out outside, but I think this will show up okay. The uh, artwork was reproduced on the uh, cover of the uh, uh, JT News Voice of Jewish Washington, formerly the uh, Jewish transcript for decades here, uh, Jewish newspaper for Seattle and Washington State, Jewish communities, uh, the 5774 issue, which was dated August 30th, 2013. 2013. The uh, artwork was inspired for me by this uh, black and white photograph here. The uh, pages are all loose from my thumbing through them so many times. The uh, uh, Prague Torah Crown of 1839, catalog number uh, 53, and the precious legacy Judaic treasures from the Czechoslovak State Collections. This was published, I think, in part by the Smithsonian um, Summit Books and uh, I know one of the exhibit sites was at the Jewish Museum in New York. This is like over 30 years ago, 1983. So the um, Judaic State Treasures from the Czechoslovak State Collections were, aside from murdering the Jews of uh, um, Morovia and Bohemia in uh, Czechoslovakia, what used to be called Czechoslovakia. Um, the uh, Nazis were um, gathering up all these uh, Judaica objects of various sorts, and they totaled uh, 140,000 items. Between 1942 and 45, they were planning on building a uh, museum of the extinct Jewish race after they would win the war, which thankfully they did not win. And the, uh, as, 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 as the text states, uh, the Jewish uh, catalogers, librarians, and someone who cataloged this enormous collection of Judaica themselves uh, eventually uh, were murdered. Anyway, there you have it. This will, is looking for a uh, home somewhere, perhaps a, uh, a synagogue, um, art museum, or galleries, they would say, in Britain and Europe, uh, university or college. It is open and available. There you have it. Prague Torah Crown of 1839. With also with the uh, uh, keys to the city 
based on a, a different uh, photographic image inspired by uh, from the uh, collection. There you have it. I'll bid everyone adieu.